Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and today we have the version actually optimized uh, and a little changed compared to the one you saw on stream because we're talking about Tachyon. So the new tier 0, because this is tier 0, it's just too much. Uh, playing a little bit more off, uh, off stream while trying to make it, uh, this a little bit more spicy and with even more counter traps, I realized how good this deck is. Uh, and yeah, I think I just missed just one card in order to play it optimally. So let me start saying that I know this is not the optimized version. I know it, so totally fine. But uh, yeah. This is very, very nice, not gonna lie. Um, the, the fact that you can just search the counter trap is just too much, in my opinion. Literally too much. It's, I know it's just one copy, but the fact that it is searchable and you can activate it from your end, it's too much. So I think they will either limit the, um, the counter trap or they will change the skill, maybe letting you search something else. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, oh, maybe I'm adding some more limits. Who knows? Who knows? But before jumping right in, guys, just a quick reminder. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, of course, I'm here with Mizor, uh, with Mizor and the skill that is Tachyon Dragon Domination. So, let's go really quickly through the skill. You can only play basically the monsters you see, he you see here. There's nothing more to play because this, the, the skill is uh, pretty restricting. So level 4 or 8 with 2k or lower. Uh, Dark monsters level 8 with 2500 or 2k attack. So literally are this one. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is the monsters you can play and the mo normal monster. Uh, actually in the, uh, in the deck. While in the extra you're a little bit uh, you know more free. Uh, actually, you are free to play anything, but yeah, this is the these are the restrictions from the deck for the deck, and then you have two um, effects that are pretty broken to me, and the fact that it's literally broken it's because it's not even once per duel, so it's once per turn each and twice per duel each, so this means you can do this for two turns separately. Um, you reveal one level 8 monster in your hand, add the level 4 or level 8 light monster to your hand, and then you set the level 8. So this means that even if you draw just one monster, you're able to go all the way into a, um, uh, into a Tachyon Dragon, right? And then you can use the second effect, you have to return one face-up monster on your field to your hand, and add one Tachyon Transmigration from your deck on one rank up magic or barrier force from outside your deck to, the gr to, to your from outside your deck to your hand. So you can grab this, right? And this is a counter trap that is crazy because these can be activated from your hand if you control a Tachyon Dragon Monster. So even, so this counts both for this guy or this guy. If you have any of these two, you can activate the counter trap from your hand, right? Uh, and you search it. Or otherwise, if you happen to have Desiree in your hand, you can just you you can just grab the um, the Barbarian's Force that allows you to go from this to this. Then the point is, the fact that we have a counter trap in our hand opens to the spicy play that we saw on stream. That is the rebirth of Parshat. So basically, you have access to double negation. You have. Uh, double negation but with counter trap guys you do not have to underestimate this because in normal negation that we have for example with Felgrand or even with something that is more powerful to me that is the um, crystal wing synchro dragon that is a negation plus destruction it's not comparable to a negation of a counter trap and in this specific counter trap as well why because first thing first, you can't respond to a counter trap except with another counter trap. So for example, if you negate something with Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, but your opponent has Forbidden Chalice, you can just chain Forbidden Chalice, targeting your Crystal Wing, and the negation is gone, right? But if you activate Tachyon Transmigration, or in this case, Rebirth of Parshat, your opponent cannot chain anything. 
unless he has another Tachyon transmigration and another counter trap. But that is very unlikely to, ha to happen um, unless you're facing, uh, you're having a mirror match and you're facing another Tachyon deck that maybe has a transmigration ready to be activated. But that is just one case. All the other decks, they do not play counter traps and that's why this is broken. Rebirth of Parshat, like Tachyon Transmigration, shuffles the card you negated back into the deck and this is better than anything because shuffling into the deck makes this so much more powerful plus Parshat allows you to summon an Avenging Knight Parshat from your extra deck ignoring its summoning condition like actually you do not have to synchro summon this why this is good, not only for because this guy has increasing damage, but because it's a level 8. So, during the next turn, you can use this guy as a level 8 to exceed summon and go into your Tachyon, into your uh, Food and Dragon, and so on. So, that's very, very, very nice. Um, then, this was, this was the classic build, and now I've actually became pretty familiar with this, actually how to play this. Um, I know which are the best combo lines, and... I decided to play something more, the Xyz Reflect, because this is actually the counter Tachyon, so this focuses on counter trap and on negating with counter traps. So you can either have the Parshot or you have the Xyz Reflect. It's almost the same, but not the same, because Xyz Reflect just protects your Xyz monster, right? And you can negate spell, trap, or monster effect that targets though, right? Plus a little bit damage. But, but it requires no anything to discard. Instead, Parshat can get anything. Parshat can get even a Dark Hole, you know, just to be clear. And it gives you a monster. And you will see in some of the replays where the monster summoned by Rebirth of Parshat actually gives you... Uh, give gave me the chance to survive and then to win the following turn. So don't underestimate the additional summon of a kind of a big body on the field. And then we have double trade in. Perfect, of course, because we play all level 8. So the one thing I would change, guys, if I was able to, uh, I would have just uh, basically played a second Seifert um, instead of a Parsec in the Interstellar Dragon. So I would play two Starly Seifert and two Parsec the Interstellar Dragon. And I'm gonna explain you why. I lost a duel with this because I didn't have the chance to send Seifert to the graveyard. When Seifert into, into the graveyard, you can just banish it to recover, for example, a Nebula Dragon. And this effect is very important because you have to remind that with just one level 18 hand you can activate the skill and basically go all the way into an Xyz rank 8, right? Uh, but, um, so sometimes to send the Seifert into the grave, you need to be able to send the Seifert through its own effect to search for another Seifert. So I hope this is clear. And guys, that's it. The your normal summon, of course, are these two: the either the Interstellar Dragon or the Seifert. So ideally, if you have the Spiral, you wanna you wanna send the Spiral Dragon to grave um, to get the most, the best, the, the the biggest advantage out of it. And you have two ways to send it: you either just discard it with trade in, or you discard it with the effect of Seifert. So if you have the Spiral Dragon in hand, you usually wanna search for Seifert to discard it, right? Otherwise, it might be not the best play to look for Seifert, not gonna lie. Um, and, yep, guys, I think that's it, honestly. Um, the, the extra deck is pretty nice. We have the Felgrun. Don't sleep on Felgrun, guys, just because the best turn one of this deck that you will see in the replays is Felgrun with its own negation, Tachyon on the field, um, the transmigration in end plus one of these two. You you're gonna also have both, but you can't activate both because you either set this and keep this in your hand in order to discard it and activate Parshot, or you set this and you have nothing to discard and you can protect your Xyz monster. That's it. Um, guys, it's literally powerful, and this version, to be honest, it's. And do you not want to say better, because of course playing some meta staple could save you in case you break, so I'm not gonna lie, but when you have this going first, this is better than the normal one. Having access to multiple negation through counter traps, it's better to me. And you're gonna see this, you're gonna see the power of this deck going first. It's literally insane, tier 0. And it's probably gonna be it in uh, uh, because in the it, it's already everywhere. So imagine this Casey Cup is just gonna be meta against Tachyon. It's just it. 
Anyway guys, that is all for the explanation, stay tuned for the replays just to check actually the combo lines, they are pretty easy but you do not have to mess up, especially if you want to have the additional body on the field to return to your hand with the skill to grab the transmigration. Let's jump right into them. Hello guys, here we go, this is the first one, let's see what we have. So we have, this is actually one of the, um, uh, the the replays that comes from the live streaming, so I was still trying to learn this. But uh, this is here just to show you uh, the power of this deck going second. So we already, we, 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 I told you and people will, will, will tell you that this is crazy because it, there's a searchable counter trap and of course that's true. So going first, this deck as such a good advantage but now you can see also why they say is tier zero because this is going second and i think actually with no um uh no tech cards so if i remember correctly let's see so this guy's gonna end up on a crystal wing synchro dragon and he should have the um, the other boy as well, the uh, the clear wing, plus double back cross, double sat, so it's us to go, and as you can see right here, guys, we had no tag cards to begin with, like, I mean, no, um, I mean, no uh, Book of Moon, Typhoon, anything you can think of, we have nothing here, so that's why I told you that maybe you don't need to play tag card to make this even more broken, like, this is already broken, and you can just focus on a turn one that is crazy, um, Look at this, we got the, the 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 skill number one, the effect number one to set the guy. Then we got an additional normal summon with this boy that can be normal summoned without tributing when you control level eight. And then we got the spider dragon from the grave. This is a core um a core card to have in the grave if you want to go full power and we were lucky because we had this dude uh, that we could discard with the effect of trade in. Then we got his special summon, he's not doing anything for now, uh, and then we go talking. Now, he is already in trouble, right? Because literally knows that we already have the counter trapping end, but we could just potentially return this to hand and uh, grab the, the counter trap, and he has no response to this. We went with Nebula Dragon, he didn't negate this because at this point he knows I have the Tachyon Transmigration in end, so yeah. Um, we got the um, uh, Parsec as well, there you go, another Tachyon all the way, uh, was not going in, I could have gone into such more stuff, he went with Crackdown and at that point my choice was correct, why? Because if I didn't go into a second Tachyon and he activated um, the Crackdown, I would have been forced to negate the Crackdown with the Transmigration, right? But with this play instead, double Tachyon, I'm chilling. I actually um, decided to go with double Tachyon because uh, one was to get rid of this guy and the other one is to crash into this and the other one was to pop this. That was my plan. So I grabbed the rank up magic batting force, activate now, at this point we're chilling. Why we're chilling? Because we can just negate potentially the effect of the crystal, the crystal wing synchro dragon if we want. There you go, effect of Tachyon to negate all the other cards, he tries to negate with Crystal Wing, but the Transmigration can just negate, and at this point what happens, that everything is negated, because now, um, with Transmigration we negate Crystal Wing that comes back into the extra deck, but then with the effect of Tachyon Dragon, we negate the effect of all other face-up cards, Crackdown included, so the the boy is coming back to me at this point. I can just attack that. I think is just a typhoon, or uh, I think it was a, a mystical space typhoon or a lance. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Second duel interrupting a rank up. This was a mirror match, guys. It was full of mirror match uh, while I tr while I was testing this. So trading to begin with, perfect because we just discarded, as you could see, the Gal Galactical Spiral Dragon. So we have the full combo right now. We got the uh, uh, Limit Dragon to begin, then the Parsec Normal Summoner without tributing because we have a level eight Spiral Dragon to come from the ashes, and we got there. You go the first six Cs. That is going to be Felgrand. Because after you use the effect of Nebula, you are locked into Dragon type. So you want to summon Felgrand first. And this looks <clears throat> like the one of the best turn one you can have. So we got Felgrand, then we got the, the effect of the skill to make the boy come back to our hand and grab the transmigration. And we want the boy come come back to hand because we have Nebula Dragon that needs another level 8 to activate its effect. There you go, double special summon of the two level 8 so we can go straight away into Tachyon now. And we have... 
Look at this. Probably this could be even better because we have literally triple negation. Four, we have full negation. Dudes, we have full negation. We have the transmigration from the hand. We have double XC's reflect. And we have failed one negation that can negate the effect of a monster effect. Or it can just make our Tachyon Dragon unaffected. You know, you can just choose. So he's got, of course, Tachyon. He, he started with the, the skill, of course, to set a level 8 boy that was the Nebula Dragon. Um, fli flipped up, of course. Uh, come back to hand to grab the Tachyon Transmigration. So we know that if he summons the Tachyon Transmigration, if, if he summons the Tachyon, we know he's got the negation, so he started with Nebula, guess what, we're just negating that, he comes back to deck, he can't activate the effect again, so we're chilling. He's got the Sally Surf for the fact to, uh, to search, but guess what, Felgron can just negate that. So at that point, he just needs to set, he can't do nothing, and we still had a couple of this, so imagine if he started with Book of Moon, Xyz Reflect, negate. Uh, uh, even if he chained Chalice to this, Xyz Reflect, negate. Mind Control. Negate. Of course, if he goes with Darkhold, we could have done a thing. Actually, we could have done something with Darkhold because he would have just activated Felgrand to make the Tachyon Dragon unaffected and he would have been popped. So we're chilling. This, this turn one is just so cool, guys. We got the skill again and he just scooped because he already had a level 8 in hand. So, dude, what is this? What is this? This is crazy. Completely. There's no way you can go through that turn one. That's how you're doing, my boys. There you go. Third duel, my boys, interrupting a three win streak. This was one of the coolest, um, uh, of the coolest matches I have. And spoiler alert, you're gonna see this deck by me, like my version. I didn't see this guy what, what, what he was playing, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna play my version of this because I already told you how to play this. Actually, some of um, uh, of you guys in the chat of a live streaming suggested this, but this is already so crazy. So look at this guy went first. Uh, and he's got uh, the classic, um, the classic uh, Destiny Heroes, right? But it comes to spy. Stay with me. Dangerous to begin with, and you already know what this is about, right? When he summons Dangerous, because you summon Dangerous just because you need the level six. So we know he's going into Beatrice, right? Second level six with Malicious, then Beatrice. Uh, special summon, of course, to go into uh, the Beatrice that can send. You literally have two send the grave. The first one during your turn, the second one during my turn, because this is a quick effect. So he sent the mm, directly the Doom King Balder Drock because he had in hand the Banshee. And these are just the two cards you need to send to the grave with Beatrice. You know why? Because Banshee can be banished from the grave to activate Zombie Word. And then why do you want to send the Baller Drotch to the grave? Because during the standby phase, if you have a field spell, you can just special summon this guy. Plus, when a zombie effect is activated, you can either negate or banish a monster from the field or graveyard. And that's insane, because with Zombie World, each monster on field and graveyard becomes zombie type. And this is actually a problem for us, because we need dragons. So he's got Beatrice straight away, just to send this. This was such a play. Dude, what is this? Mischief of the Gnomes? What the frick is this? Such a cool card. It's a tech card, of course, against Tachyon. Just, uh, just against Tachyon. You can banish this card from the graveyard. This turn, reduce the levels of all monsters in each player's end by one, even after they are, they are summoned set. So with this, I'm locked. I can't do nothing, because uh, we just have... Um, they become level 7, so we can't activate the skill. That's it. We, we, are, we would have lost. We would have lost. A normal Tachyon deck loses against this, unless you play Rebirth of Parsha. So, we keep the Transmigration in end. He's got all the way into the Ferocious Flame Swordman. And then he's got um, Drill Duck. Effect perfect. We can just negate with the Rebirth of Parsha, discarding the Spider Dragon to summon a body on the field that will literally save us. He's got the reinforcement of the, of the army, but he can't summon anymore because he already didn't summon, so he had to attack with that and then attack with the Flame Swordsman. But we're chilling now. We're so chilling because now we can activate the skill. So we got the effect, we grab the, 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 uh, the Interstellar Dragon, then there you go. At this point, we just need Tachyon, honestly, because we can't do that much. 
because um, the problem, I mean, we can activate the effect of Nebula from the hand because uh, he, the zombie would affect the monsters on field and graveyard, so the cards in hand are safe. There you go, second summon, XC summon into Tachyon, and because we're locked into, dra we're locked into Dragon, unfortunately. And then battle phase ta Tachyon to negate the effect of all cards. He falls for the trap to activate the Droid's effect, but I can just use Tachyon Transmigration. There you go, negate it, and at this point, we just have lethal, he's got the effect. We, he can't summon anything with the effect of Sozomen, because they are all zombie, and this just summons a warrior type monster. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Here we go, my boys, a fourth duel. This is another mirror match, but this time, it's us going second. So, just this just to show you that literally going second, it all comes to... Th this deck is nearly unstoppable going second. Not gonna lie, this deck is unstoppable going second. Unless you have tons of counter traps, trust me. So, it's got all these combos right there. So, the classic combos, as you can see, with the Galactical Spider Dragon as well. Um, it's got the Tachyon Transmigration in end, and then it's going into Tachyon, of course. Uh, I guess not... maybe not the best. Uh, because he he, the best one would have would have seen a Nebula Dragon now, even though he can just go into Tachyon, I guess, so maybe it's not even that good. And double set plus a Tachyon Transmigration in end, we know that. So now we would have completely, we would have been dead if this would be Rebirth of Parshat. But it was not. So we got the effect to get a boy, a uh, normal summon. We flip this guy up and we're chilling because, you know, when you go second against a deck that, that spams 2k or more and you have the limit dragon, you have unlimited special summon. This card is so cool. Um, we grab the Tachyon Transmigration, now trade in to draw a couple of cards, trade in again, and then we got double uh, the swords, so we're, li we're li literally chilling. Double special summon, and I went all the way into the, um, the Tachyon Dragon, and I'm gonna explain you why. Um, at that point I went with Seifert, right? And here I could just go, I do not have Spiral Dragon actually, but I wanted to use its effect in order to discard an Blood Dragon and get the, the Spiral, right? So, Exactly what I went for, he let me do it, and I can summon Spiral Dragon because I have two dragons, one of them being the uh, the Tachyon. Spiral to make both level 8, and second Tachyon is coming right now, so we're chilling. I know the first summon should have been probably Tachyon, but I was afraid, I wanted to be sure to have the, the negation live, that's why I went for it. So there you go, second Tachyon, this time going into Foreign Dragon, and set, you're going for the pop, it's, got, it's forced to use Transmigration, but we can just use our Transmigration, so negate, and at this point, he just scooped, I don't know what that was at this point. Literally have no clue, maybe just a couple of Typhoon, I guess, but even with Book of Moon, with one back row would have, would have not been enough, honestly. Um, but yeah, and next turn we had the Rebirth of Parshat live, because we had the Xyz reflecting end. So no matter what happened to our boys, next turn Rebirth of Parshat could just negate, shuffle back to deck, and provide a level 8 on the field. That's how you're doing, my boys. There you go. Here we go, my boys. Last but not least, third win in a row. And we are, uh, of course, guys, I ranked up with this so easy. I, I'm on Regen rank 2, but I'm trying to drop just because I do not want to rank up that early. So we got another Destiny Heroes that is coming back, I, but I don't think it's that version that we saw earlier. This is another version. This actually went with Exedonite, plus, of course, the Dystopia and a back row. So it's got basically triple interruption, but not really three, because this dude just has... Uh, and uh, an interruption during our battle phase or his man phase, so not the best thing going first. Uh, but we got the um, uh, our our boy to be special summoned, effect straight away to get access to Tachyon Transmigration. Then we got this his special summon again, effect of the skill to get the Seifert. There you go, and then we got of course uh, the Parsec straight um, straight forward into Tachyon. So we're chilling now. And at this point, he's got the effect of Dystopia. I said, you know what? We can just negate straight away. He can't change anything else. Dystopia back to the deck. And then a Seifert. We're not done yet. At this point, he's got Crackdown. Uh, and that is kind of a problem because now we can't summon that boy, right? So he has a good, a good thing here going on. But we have this. So with the Birth of Parshad, I'm just chilling at this point. He's got Darkhold. And I thought about that. I mean, 
do I need to negate the dark hole? Not really. So we popped everything, then drill dark. Plus malicious, you wanted to go all the way, but guess what? I can just negate malicious, and even though I misplayed because because this guy didn't wasn't sent back to that, I didn't get to to have the special summon. So uh, not the best use of rebirth, but still good because we already we still have a spiral, so we can just use the skill plus Seifer to get the nebula. You know where where we can go here. So even with just one card, especially if you have Seifer in the grave, you don't even need one monster in hand. You can do everything from the grave plus the skill you have access of course to um, another rank 8 is gonna be Tachyon of course plus the effect of the skill to get the Badian's Force is scooped of course that's how you do it my boys there you go so guys this is really too much to handle I can't wait honestly to try um, other decks that I need of course to bring in the channel and to face this to see if there's a way actually to <clears throat> to stop this and what actually do we need for this to stop it? Um, but I think hold the meta has to adjust to this. Uh, that's why we call it tier zero. Uh, people are going to start playing tech card that specifically works for this, even on the ladder. And that's why you can feel this is that a deck becomes tier zero. Anyway, guys, that is all. I already took too much of your time and sorry for that, but I wanted to be 100% clear in my explanation, both the combos and of course the decklist breakdown. Of course, um, uh, don't be afraid of asking everything anything in the comment section down below i will be glad to help thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one